So my stepdad last night and me were thinking about how to do this. And we came up with this thickness that we need. And then say this is the table, we're gonna have one on the corner and then all four on the corners and then with one in the center. Because with this, it'll hold up more textbooks, like five to six textbooks. Yeah. Nice. One triangle and four legs. One in the middle on this side. Yeah, this is like they did. Except for we didn't take it to the table. So each leg holds four bowls of newspaper. Paper. Um, with tape wrapped around it, and this is two newspapers folded like a triangle for the top, taped, and we have another one in the center to hold it up for the center. Center. Okay. Okay. Ta-da! Everyone clap! Science! You're the best! Science. Math! Not science. How about engineering? Hunter decided to make a table as a regular table. It didn't work. So, had a mark idea of just doing this. Taping a whole bunch of them together. That's true. That, that really that is genius. genius. That is genius. It, it does hold up. Mark just... had a good idea. Hey, I'll do it this way. Woo! We are making a table, well, a table and we didn't really plan to make this, but we just, came up with stuff as we went. And we made like, yeah, like support. I don't really know what to call them, but like we put things to support it here. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we made longer pieces and then we bent it because it was too long, but that helped it. And we kept wrapping more pieces of newspaper and tape around it to help support it. Two books. One book. That's fine. It's not even thick enough. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Wait, they take two oh, books. Wait, that's not the skinny one. Cake falling. Oh, oh, yeah, you have to change oh. the science book. Oh, oh okay. Oh. No, it's also. You know the phrase, the bigger they are, the harder they fall? Now the math book. Now the math touch button. They won. Yeah, they won. It's obvious. You don't know that? No, we won. It's obvious. Yeah! yeah. yeah.